whether we like it or not, there is a problem. We need to discuss the problem. We are disagreeing with ourselves and we have every reason to disagree. The North before now is saying we don't believe in separation. But as I'm standing, I'm telling you that if there's going to be separation tomorrow, the North is ready for it. We are also ready. Let's go our either ways. And, and I'm telling you this with all sincerity. Northern Nigeria before now do not want to hear any deal separation. But as of today, as I speak to you, the North is equally ready to leave. Please disagree with me, but I will speak. This is why we are here. This is why we are here. Good. Let us discuss the controversy and let us find a solution to the problem. Please allow him. Please allow him. Somebody has his opinion. You have your opinion. This is why we are here. If you disagree with me, come up and give your position. This is my position. This is the position of Northern Nigeria. So if you disagree, make your position known. Yes, we should create. There should be a room for discussion. Call it national conference. Call it national conference. Call it restructuring. Call it whatever. I agree that we should come to a round table and discuss Nigeria and discuss the way forward for Nigeria. I agree that we are disagreeing. I agree that there's a problem. Alaji, we are, we are looking at uh, the statement that came from uh, Dr. Anglo Abdullahi saying that uh, Nigeria needs to be renegotiated. And before now, Obasanjo have said that the Igbos are not the first one to call for division of Nigeria. That also in the, far, in, the, in, the pla, in the past shouted Araba, meaning divide Nigeria. And we are seeing a situation where Nadekalo have been incarcerated for some years and the agitation refused to stop. The position of uh, Ango Abdullahi that Nigeria needs to be renegotiated. As a respected Yoruba man, let me get your perspective. I don't, don't trivialize anything I'm saying. I am not trivializing myself that because I'm speaking for Yoruba, I'm speaking for Nigeria. I'm going to do. I'm going to is speaking of his own angle. You ask him who and who is he talking about? It's because he's no more in government. Because he's not in the corridor of government, that is why he's saying what he's saying. Let them give him something to do in one of the offices now, and they tell him to repeat this word. Now you see that it's not; it will not be there. And for issue of Kanu, no government that came in to meet the issue of Shano like this, that want to release him the way he wants to release him. They will look at it as the security aspect of it. It's either the government come into negotiation with their, gov with their people to do what the people need. So it, 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 that is, it, if even where he is, he will, he will be, have been celebrating that uh, my people have been looked into. So if he come outside, there won't be any agitation. But when his people are here to benefit, you want them to read it and read it. When he comes, he say they never do them, they never do them. Then everywhere, everywhere they explode again. Because his, his own words is very, very volume. It's loud and volume. Do you understand what I'm saying now? So that's why. Let us look at um, the prolonged litigation of the same man. Because before now, we understand that court of appeal. Uh, set him free saying that he was extraordinary in addition and at a point some people from the south part of the country tried to look for a political solution if we have law in nigeria we don't we don't have law in nigeria so if you keep saying you just keep saying it how many how many people have lost their lives for something they don't know about how many people have been picked on the street somebody who's going to look for his daily bread that has been picked before he knows he meets himself in curriculum. I have worked towards releasing some people in the curriculum. I brought them here for people to see them when I release them. When I work for them to be released, I stood for them. How many people have that person, some, such a person that will stand for them to release them? Let us look at the issue of uh, Nigerian constitution because some lawyers have argued that what we have was forced on Nigerians. That we need a people's oriented constitution. It is it is long overdue. But unfortunately, the bitter truth is that 
Jonathan got it wrong. Does the East want to go on their own? Does the Yoruba want to go on their own? Does the Asa want to go on their own? Exactly when we click 100 years of reformation of Nigeria, the constitution can be changed. But because he wants to go for the second time, he now came and employed the services of constitutional, constitutional, what do you call it, conference. Confab. Which now kill that move. From tooth and nail now, we have to fight it to bring it back and put it on the table and see that if we want to go apart, we can go apart. We have the chance when Jonathan was there in government. But his own greed that made him want to go for second term, make him not to look at that thing at that time. And before you know it, those who make him to do it are not there to vote for him to go for the second term. So that's the truth. I'd like to look at uh, the recent protests across the nation where Nigerians were protesting against bad governance. They were trying to draw attention of government to good governance. Now, surprisingly, some minors were arrested and charged for treason. It happens everywhere in the world. Because nobody will protest against a government that they will not want to pick somebody in order to frighten other ones not to come out. They release some of them now. You understand? Not even on bail, discharged and acquitted. Uh, that was after outcry, when the video of the children in the court went viral. Exactly. We never said no, but yet they were being released that they should go. I'm not in support of the issue of the, those children or no children that are being packed. I'm not talking of that. But what I'm saying is, every government, when they know there's going to be a protest, all they will do is to go against you, is to go after you. So those who have been picked know and must have knew that definitely they are still, they are going to pay for it. And the only thing that can make it to go on and on for it to survive is to believe in what they believe in and to work on, on it until we get it right and let them understand that we are not stopping, we are not keeping quiet until we get it right. Okay, let us look at the, the proposed uh, tax reform bill as submitted by Mr. President to the National Assembly. The not true senator, one of the senators from the north, from Brunu State, Ndume, I come back later to say that bill is dead on arrival because we understand that the government is proposing a review of uh, value added tax from 7.5% to 12.5% by January next year. Nigerians should be expecting this when, we, when they voted for Tinubu to come to government. Nigerians should expect this when they, when they voted for Tinubu to become a president. There's not something new. If they didn't pass it here, they will still pass it another time. Because that's the way they make their own money. They will not bring infrastructures into the nation. They will never bring industries into the nation. They will never bring any company to come and do one or two things for the nation to grow. They will want to make what they want to make from the tax. That's the truth. And how I wish and how I pray, it is dead on arrival as saved. If they are not going to collect under peanuts, to forget it again and to look into it. If I may ask, as a destabilized Nigerian, what is your view to get this right? It, not until you, until you don't see me as a Yoruba man. I want to get a perspective. What do we need to do as a people to get it right? Until you don't see me as a Yoruba man, I don't see you as an Igbo man, an Edoma or anything. It is from me and you that can happen. We are currently, as we speak, Nigerians are saying they are not comfortable with the trajectory of governance of Senator Amebola to the world. He is not comfortable unless everybody wants to lie. If you see anybody who is defending the government now, they just have to be because they have said Gautinumbu will be. Now that they has come, that is not, instead of they are just covering their shame. Nobody is enjoying my brother. Nobody. So the bad governance is something that is open to everybody. That's it. Okay, if you were to advise in terms of uh, um, reforming our electoral system, because we understand that the major problem we had in that 2023 election was how to transmit election results. And currently, people are saying, give us new electoral act where you reduce human interference to the extent of you must transmit election results electronically. What is your opinion? 
Yes, we, we, I, even if you want to do it electronically, I think we should be able to do it the way we do our ATM card. Or the way we do it on our phone now. Start dash, 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 dash. And you vote there and that's how it will count. But there is nothing like electronic count that so somebody that is going to press it, that is, that is, going, to be, that is, not, that is not going to be a, a reading in it. Because anytime, it is only when an election is coming that they will employ more. And those people, they will employ them to tell them we must not fail. If we fail, you lose your job. Okay. Now, let us look at the issue of anti-corruption. Abanati governors went to court before now, asking court to invalidate EFCC. Because according to them, it was UN convention that established it. But the wisdom of the Supreme Court, they came out to say it is legal. And we understand that Kogi State governor, who is facing challenge with EFCC, Kogi State is in the lead of trying to invalidate EFC. What is, what is your take? He will, he will, he will, because he's a criminal, because he, I, I'm sorry to be, he has been so, he's, he's a suspect. Let me not use the criminal because he's a, so, he's a suspect. So he will do, do everything possible in order to, def, to, to, to defend himself. So he will, sub, he will definitely support that bill. And you can see that it's, going, it's working. Since they can make Mr. President to be one of ambassadors of uh, CIA now. He has been endorsed. You mean our president? Yes. Yes, it's one of the CIA endorsements. Yeah, you haven't. What does that protect for our country? Uh, it protects how bad we are. It protects how bad we are. And it shows how much we are dolent. We don't know what we are really doing. That we see somebody that somebody like a CIA now will not pick our Mr. President to come and tell us that his, his integrity is clean. Finally on this, sir, let us look at uh, Lagos police. They said they rejected a bribe of about 174 million naira from an internet fraudster. From who? An internet fraudster. Yeah. They rejected the bribe. Did they tell you the one they collected before that one? So they won't tell you the one they will collect after this. Eh? So it doesn't mean they now have integrity. That was a... They don't have. They don't have who? There is foul play somewhere that if this thing should bust, they will be in trouble. That's why it came out. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.